up everybody welcome back to Ovalle Inspiracion I am back at it again with another video so this afternoon we're gonna be talking about something called layaway I don't know if you ever heard of layaway maybe for some of you who are still younger or still young you may not know what that is but let me give you an example before I take you back into the history so I remember when my father died in 2011, I was about 25 years old. And it was in October, I mean in August, I'm sorry. And, to, and during those months, you know, it was very hard. And I was living with my mom at that time. So I wanted to buy something to bring it home, to give, it, give us and my mom at least some type of comfort. And it was for Christmas. So I decided to buy a dog. I wanted to bring a dog home on Christmas day. However, I had put this dog on lay away. And this is the picture of the dog I used to have and I miss him, I don't have him anymore. But what do I mean by lay away? Let's go back into the history and then I'll come back again. Pretty much lay away, it all started in around the 1920s uh, in 1920s and 30s throughout the Great Depression. So there was companies that noticed that a lot of people were losing their jobs, you know, gas prices were going higher, um, a lot of things were just rising up. So they figured, okay, let's come up with something called a layaway plan where people can pay things little by little, um, but they have to stick to it. It's, a, it's an agreement. So let's say they wanted to buy, I don't know, a sofa and it cost $800. They would agree to pay for it little by little, but they cannot get the object, they cannot get the sofa until they make their final payment. So that was what was going on in the Great Depression. And I can't tell you that the intentions of those companies were actually evil or bad and or whatnot, but I get it. A lot of people was hurting, a lot of people were struggling, they couldn't pay for things, so they managed to pay things little by little. And when they finally paid for it, they got their object or their, their merchandise. So going back to my dog that I got, a, a, a miniature schnauzer. So the dog cost $600, I went to the pet shop and I went to go get it. I had to make um, certain payments until I can get my dog. So that means that whatever, every time I would visit my dog, I would make a payment. And I would visit the dog just so he can get to know me a little bit and get used to me. I would play with him for a little bit, but I would leave out of the store without a dog because the dog was not fully paid off. Isn't that crazy? But hey, I did it. Um, I did enjoy the dog for the couple of months I had it because long story short am i gonna get into it why i don't have them anymore but it lasted right i enjoyed it so in the 1980s and 90s or specifically the 80s that is when the layaway stuff was not really working for people anymore something else came out that was quote unquote better and it was the credit card system all right the credit card system pretty much blew out the whole layaway plans but the credit card system pretty much worked the same way almost the same way as the layaway the only difference is that when you purchase something you can actually get it so that sofa that I was talking about you can purchase um, swipe that credit card for $800 and take that sofa home with you but the diff the same thing or the commonality as a layaway is that you have to make payment plans every month whether um and you have a minimum payment or you can pay more or whatever you can but at the end of the day is that even really wise you know what i'm saying like my theory is if you don't have cash for it don't use a credit card wait until you have cash so you can pay it in full so that's when the whole credit card system started coming into place um it started getting very popular uh, most people love the idea, but look at the problem that we have now in America. We have over $1 trillion in debt of in credit cards. 
Now there's some people that are responsible and there's some people know, who knows how to beat the system. But then again, what's the percentage? How many people actually succeed and beat the system? Very, very little. And I would tell people, listen, if you get a credit card, I would tell them, use it like as if it's a debit card. That whatever you would, that you have to spend each month, whether it's your gas, your car insurance, your car loan, or any type of debt, your rent, mortgage, swipe that credit card and then pay it off right away, right? But other than that, don't even get a credit card. I get it, oh, you wanna, um, you wanna, um, what is it? Build credit and all that kind of stuff, but most people fail at it because you need to get in debt in order to build credit, which is the stupidest thing ever. Now, going back to the layaway, it seems like it started to come back again. So Target has introduced the layaway plan to people, especially because the holidays are coming up. And I'm talking about Christmas, right? Walmart, I think Bed Bath & Beyond, and I think Macy's also have layaway plans. Again, where you purchase something, but you can't take it home yet until you pay it in full, right? And that may seem convenient for many people, especially during the holidays. They want to get the gifts for the loved ones. They want to get, you know, gifts for for themselves or they want to go, you know, whatever the case may be. But that layaway, that mentality of buy now, pay later is a poor and broke mentality and mindset to have. Guys, can you believe that you can actually put a pizza on layaway like who does that you buy a whole pizza pie that costs i don't know 15 dollars and in your mind oh i don't have to pay it in full i'll just pay three dollars every month until it's 15 dollars. i'm like what kind of no 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 that is just dumb that is the reason why this country is the way it is because we have such a broke mindset. That credit card system, that point system, that credit score, that FICO score, has us thinking that that's the way to live life. Guys, that is not the way to live life. And I'm sorry that if you are one of those that do layaway plans and use credit cards all the time, listen, you don't build wealth by using a credit card. You don't build wealth by swiping that card and building up your credit. It doesn't work like that, guys. Look at these millionaires. Do you think they build wealth by swiping cards? The majority has not. You don't build wealth that way, right? So at the end of the day, guys, I get it that Christmas is coming around the corner and we had a hard year last year because of the pandemic and still even today, but not as much as last year. And you know, you do wanna buy gifts for your loved ones especially those that suffered, those that lost their jobs or went from full-time to part-time or went from full-time to part-time to per diem. I get it. But you also wanna protect yourself. You also wanna protect your finances. You also do not, do not wanna get in debt. So my biggest um, advice and tip for you is that if you want to go get stuff at the store, Target, Walmart, Macy's, JC Penny, whatever the case may be, make sure that you budget. I'll be making a video next month talking about the importance of budgeting for Christmas shopping in January so you don't have to worry about in December and spending more money than what you wanted to. But until then, guys, do not get in debt simply to buy Christmas gifts for your loved ones because now you're stuck in a hole. Didn't the pandemic wake you guys up? For some of you who struggled and who just bought so many things, or for, or for those who, who use their stimulus check to buy wants instead of needs, we need to be better. We need to do better as uh, workers in America and not use this whole layaway and this whole credit card system because that thing will bite you in the butt. So guys, that is my small little rant, but I just wanted to talk to you about what Target is now doing with the whole pay now. I mean, buy now, pay later program. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Wait till you have cash and then pay for it. And if you don't have cash, you got to wait. 
It's called delayed gratification. Guys, I want you to comment below and tell me what are your thoughts about the layaway plans, especially that it started in the 1920s during the Great Depression. I'll see you next time. Oh,